Leventeen Hill, our motto is exceptional wines handcrafted without compromise. Well, we have a quality above all approach, which is exactly that set of words. There's nothing that we want to impede us or stop us, stop us from achieving the ultimate outcome, which is as fine and as expressive and as unique a wine as we can possibly make of the highest order. We harvest only a small amount of the vineyard at a time because uh, you can get quite a bit of variation across some blocks depending on land form or aspect or height elevation up a slope and we do have some of the steeper slopes in the Yarra Valley and so the variation from the top of a road to the bottom can be quite a bit. The quality is I think amplified by doing things in small batches just again it's that level of detail that level of control to be able to capture something and bring it in and do it in a, a micro vinification. That level of control and, and exploring the detail in that rather than one big homogenised fermentation which at the end of it you might end up with 10 barrels and they'll all look the same. Whereas if you have five different ferments that could fill those 10 barrels, the ability for you to, to play, to experiment, to learn, to challenge empowers you to reach further and to, to push the boundaries I think of of your vineyard and your winemaking and your wine. Everything we do is by hand, hand picked, hand plunged. Essentially, um, I think the, the touch of the human hand and that sort of dedicated toil of human hands is uh, is what's most important and, and you get to have, I think, this might be getting a bit ethereal, but you can start to develop a relationship with the wine if you're in touch with it, being tactile with it and you're feeling the whole thing. I, I just think there's something about that, but uh, definitely that, that control and that management that you've been out there, you've, you've pruned the vines by hand, you go out, you pick the grapes by hand and you come in here and you do everything by hand. It's just much more gentle, much more connected with the end result. When we're hand plunging the ferments, you can feel the variation in temperature within that tiny little unit. And you can start to mix that around and start to spread the love, so to speak, amongst the, the whole thing. And I think it just helps you be much more aware of what's going on within your ferment rather than just pressing buttons and letting a machine do the work. Old world ways of winemaking that we utilize to wrestle our wine into the bottle, hand harvesting, bring it in, Having it in front of your eyes as each individual bunch goes past you and you can make a selection then and there as well as selection that we have in the vineyard before it even gets dropped into the bucket. Just in here we're utilising gravity a lot so that's very gentle. All the fruit is not getting pumped so it's not getting sort of uh, in a washing machine getting all sheared and a lot of kind of stress forces applied to it. It's just dropping straight out of this um, destemmer here and getting tipped directly into the vat, so it's all very gentle. We want to be uh, leading the pack, and to do that you've got to accept challenges, and you can't just do what is the norm. So I, I feel for us the fact that, particularly on our Hill Road property, Ellie was advised, don't plant grapes there, you, you're mad. And so, of course, what did he do? He, he went about it and it was extraordinarily difficult to establish a vineyard there, but he's done it and it's making fantastic wine. As long as it, you're always being challenged and, and again, you're always sort of testing yourself and testing the vineyard, you learn what the vineyard's capable of in good year, bad year, hot year, dry year, cold year, wet year, whatever. You learn to find out what your, your baseline of the expression of your vineyard is. You can see the, the peaks and the troughs and because all of our wines are made from uh, two of our own vineyards, they have their own personalities and as we develop a relationship and some knowledge down the track with the number of vintages under our belts, we can see that baseline that can always undeniably be Leventine Hill and then you just see the flourishes and the individual personality of the season. We only use French oak because we find that they are just the best fit for the styles that we're trying to produce, uh, which are more restrained, more elegant, more refined and French oak just integrates and helps lift rather than dominate our wines. Uh, the inspiration comes from, from Burgundy, it comes from Domaine de la Romani Conti in particular, the Latache Vineyard and Lafitte Rothschild which is one of the, the five first growths of Bordeaux. So we're not trying to keep our sights low, we're aiming for the sky 
given the, our benchmarks for what we set as being the greatest wines in the world, we want to be one day spoken in the same breath as those. It's uh, whatever it takes with, without regard to cost, time, labour, love, any of that, it's all in there.